few months ago I released a video about how to read research papers quickly and I said that you can read a research paper in 15 minutes and the number of comments that I've received and I'm still receiving on that video saying that no one's ever told them that is actually a bit shocking considering how many of us you know are at university interact with researchers all the time no one has actually told people or students that you do not need to read everything from cover to cover you can skim read you can read a bit more purpose and looking for things more specifically so in today's video I'm going to be talking about how I read 10 books so this is not just research papers but also any kind of academic texts or academic books how I read 10 of them in just one hour yep you heard me right one hour so that means 10 minutes each okay so i'm going to start off with skimming now skimming is where you quickly read through text but looking for very specific thing and going in a, in a very specific order so i'm going to start off by talking about how to skim read books that could be academic books academic textbooks books where you have sort of a very defined introduction middle and end and you know exactly where the contents is and exactly what's included so for books you always want to start off with the contents page so you start off open the contents page up, get a feel for what the book actually includes. So what, what, what is this book talking about? What are you going to find in this book? So start from there, the contents page. Then you want to read the first and the last paragraph of the introduction. So within any large textbook, you have an introduction, which tends to be a few pages long. Start from the, you know, the first, read the first paragraph, read the last paragraph. That will give you a, a nice feel for what's going to be included in the book and sort of what you hope to understand by the end of it. Then you want to look at the introduction in a bit more depth and just take a look at a few of the headings. So within the introduction, like I said, with a textbook, you'll have quite a few pages that's in the introduction. So just take a look at the descriptive headings. So what is it that, what, what are the main kind of themes that are going to run through this particular textbook? And then you want to go to the conclusion. And in the conclusion, you want to summarize, usually chapter by chapter, you want to summarize and take a look at what, what that is. So what is it that this book is claiming to have, you know, going to show you from the introduction but also what is it going to show you what it has it shown you at the end so really just introduction and conclusion that really is enough to understand what is going on in this book now if you want to go into a little bit more depth take a few more minutes you can go into a few of the chapters that you might have seen and that were interesting to you when you're flicking through the contents page so again similar order first paragraph of that particular chapter last paragraph of that particular chapter you know look at any figures and any headings and that is enough now like i said this is really for skim reading this is not for in-depth reading this is for kind of picking out points and maybe um, bookmarking for later or maybe just getting a quick brief understanding and this shouldn't be more than five minutes for one book this shouldn't really be more than you know sort of five minutes five to seven minutes for one book for a journal, this is quite similar. Again, you want to start from the abstract, read the abstract, that will take you maybe 30 seconds to one minute, read the abstract, get a gist of what is going on. You then want to go to the introduction, look at the introduction, look at the conclusion, and then possibly look at any subheadings of the figures and the results. And then if you feel like you want to look at it in a bit more depth, you could take a look at the figures that interest you. But to really understand what a particular research paper is saying, the abstract will tell you all the details and will give you kind of an overview of, of, of what's going on and what has been identified and why it's been identified and the gap in literature. All of that is included within the abstract. So you really do not need to know much more than that. If you do want to find out more about how to kind of skim read and how to read a research paper quickly, I'll leave a video for it over here. But all in all, that is how you would read very quickly a book or a journal article. Another way of reading is by scanning. So scanning is where you look for a very specific thing within your text. So I've just said skimming. Skimming is where you're sort of just looking at the overview. Scanning is where you're looking for something. So this is where you're looking for a particular keyword, a particular phrase, a particular method. You do use scanning when you already know what you're looking for. So you've been given a book and you want to read it really quickly and you know it's important for your subject, but you're looking for a specific word that they use, you know, included in the research question that you're looking at that could be included in, maybe it's a particular cell type or a particular protein and you just want to read the bits that mention that that is when you'd use scanning and it's really useful for kind of identifying like new concepts in your field so you look for the word the protein that you're interested in you find it and then you're able to kind of read a bit more in depth but again you wouldn't do this for very long you kind of skim through a research paper or a book within 
a few minutes just looking for those words and you can even if you're on the laptop or you know on the computer you can use control find and just go to those words and that really is just scanning and the last way that I read a book read books really quickly is by future proofing so with this in mind I'm thinking I want to come back to this but I do want to read this read this book or just have it you know have it read very quickly so I'm giving myself pointers for where to come back in the future but I'm also reading at the same time so with this you want to look for very specific things as you're reading you want to kind of follow a similar structure to what I said earlier so maybe the abstract maybe the introductions first maybe the conclusions first a few paragraphs a few chapters within the book but essentially you're annotating and you're being very sort of obvious with with marking things and question marking things but you're not really interrogating it too much you might ask a few questions in your head you might ask yourself why does that happen and put a question mark there you might say okay this has got to do with this particular the topic and circle or put a little marker there but you're reading it in a way that you're allowing yourself to come back to it in the future one thing I like to do is to use like little tabs sticky tabs so I, I'd have like different colors for different thoughts so where it's something that I know that I want to use in kind of writing or in something in the future then I might use a you know a pink one I might use a blue one for where I don't really understand and I want to look into it into more detail I usually even have a tab for where I want to ask a question so this could be a question to a supervisor my lecturer but someone that I know that I could give me a bit more detail about this and then what I tend to do is once I've done this this could take me maybe five to ten minutes once I've done this I will usually just summarize that particular book or that paper in a few sentences so this was about this these were the aims this was what they found and this is why I'll come back to it in the future or, these are the questions that I had when I was reading it or these were the limitations or you know this is what this book was really kind of strong at looking at or these were the weaknesses so it just means that in the future when I come back to that book I'm not sort of starting again I'm looking at the points that I had in my head earlier so I'm giving the future self a starting point and so although I've you know I've said this is how you can read 10 books in an hour I mean you can't read 10 books in an hour unless they're like two pages long but you can kind of cover and put aside 10 books if you were if you had 10 books of a reading list and you want to kind of get through them you're able to sort of just say right this book is going to be helpful for this and so that's what I'm going to be using it for in the future whereas this book's going to be helpful for that and this is what I picked out from it and in the future I'm going to use those pages to write add into my dissertation so remember the three different ways of reading you can either skim read and so actually to read and to take information from a book you can scan that means you are looking for something quite specific or you can future proof it which means you're not reading with the intent to actually just complete it now but you're reading with the intent to ask yourself the right questions so that when you come back to it in the future you have a starting point and you're not sort of starting from scratch i hope this is helpful and i hope that you were able to take away some kind of key points how i sort of try to read quickly it becomes really important a really important key skill especially when you're reading so many things to be able to identify what the best type of reading is for a particular book so i hope fans helpful let me know if you have used any of these kind of reading skills before and i'll see you guys in my next video bye